a second. No arms, no hips, no ears. One man left on me. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, from Athletic Park. Glad you joined us here. Sorry I'm getting on the commentary a little bit late, but glad you've joined us here from Athletic Park for Chaska Hawks Baseball here on Thursday night at the ballpark. Tonight's opponent for the Hawks is St. Louis Park. The Orioles come to town for another conference matchup for Chaska. We are at a 2 nothing score here through two innings. Koroskowski on the hill for Chaska tonight. And the Chaska senior starting pitcher this evening. And we get ready for the top of the third here. Stepping in. Sam Hunt enters the box for St. Louis Park here. Listed as an 8th grader on the website. I don't buy that. They're starting catchers an 8th grader. Nope. Here we go. The o -O. first pitch of the third inning is from Goroskowski. It's a ball. Do the park catcher. Not exactly the ideal conditions here to be playing on Thursday Night Baseball, but... We make do here in Minnesota with spring baseball. It's, I guess, somewhere in the 40s, low 40s here. And it's the sun has come out here, but it's been overcast for the majority of the day. As you can see, the flags in center field, I'll give you a look at them here shortly. The flags in center field are blowing quite aggressively out to the southwest. Koroskowski works the count to 2-1 and one now. The 2-1 is in there, but it's called a ball. Moves it to 3-1. It's the top of the third here from Athletic. Koroskowski sets, fires. Ground ball right side. It's Hendrickson who fields it, throws it over to Bach at first base, and Chaska records the first out of the inning on a 4-3 put out. Here's Connor Cornell. The first baseman for the Orioles with one out. He steps in facing Gorskowski for the first time this evening. He laces one up the middle. It's fielded by Young who throws over to first base and retires Cornell for a quick second out in favor of Gorskowski. Strike one from Goroskowski to Sorensen, the starting pitcher, who uh, left the game after two-thirds. Delayed strike two from the umpire here. Looking like a big strike zone here in this one. This one is laced down the right field line. It's in there, four extra bases. Sorensen's headed to two. He's stopped. On a dime, halfway to second base. A good relay from Chaska's right fielder, Marcus Peters, it looks like. No, that's Noah Miller who's out there in right. So the second hit from Park is a single by Sorensen.
Shea Pier- Perrick steps in here with two away. Runner goes, Swenson to throw down. He stopped early, and Riley Swenson canned him. The runner took off, stopped halfway through second, first and second base, and Swenson was not having ex- having runners taken off on him, and he steals, or he catches Sorensen stealing second base. And we go to the bottom of the third, no damage done except a hit here from Athletic Park. Here we go in the bottom of the third. It's Riley Swenson, who went four for four with three RBIs the other night. In Kennedy, or I think it was here versus Kennedy, was it? Was it? Maybe it was at Kennedy. I think it was actually at Kennedy. Now that I think about it. Nevertheless, here's Swenson, the catcher for Chaska, stepping in this evening. Inside, fastball. The 1-0 to Swenson. He lays off, and it's another delayed strike call. Becoming a theme here. The 1-1 to Swenson. Pitcher sets fires in the dirt. Ball two. Swenson laces one up the middle. This one is fielded by the shortstop. Throws over a strong throw and got him. Nice play by the St. Louis Park shortstop, shortstop there. That's Riley Dvorak who Retires Swenson for the first out of the bottom of the third. Here's the pitcher, Goroskowski for Chaska. Pitcher, Jacob Goroskowski. So, one away. Here, Goroskowski steps up. Ball one inside. To the Jaska Hurler. Pekarik can't be can't get on the same page with the catcher, so he steps off. Here with a 1-0 count, one retired. Here in the bottom of the third. The 1-0 is laced deep into left center. It's hit the warning track. No catch. Goroskowski's rounding for extra bases. The relay is in from center field, and he's up on second base with a one-out double for Chaska.
Benji Hidalgo, the courtesy runner. Here's a hard hit ball from Johnson into left field. It doesn't drop. So a quick second out there for St. Louis Park's favor. And it's Mac Bourne, the freshman, who steps up to the plate. Mac Bourne looks at strike one. The 0 1 to the freshman in the dirt, smothered by the catcher, Sam Hunt. One one to Born. He's way out ahead of that changeup. <clears throat> so Picard's ahead of the count for St. Louis Park. And Born looks at a one two. Run around second, two down. Born hits this one hard right at the third baseman. Makes a nice play ranging off, and Born is retired. Chassis can't push anything across in the bottom of the third off of the Goroskowski double. We go to the fourth. Chask is still leading 2-0. All right, here we go at the top of the fourth. Game moving along rather quickly. Shea Pekarik steps to the plate to lead off the fourth inning. Rich Fear, or St. Louis Park, rather, two hits. Hasn't pushed across any runs. Try to do it here off Goroskowski, who's pitched scoreless three innings here so far. The 01 fouled away also into the sea of vehicles behind the grandstand. So Gorskowski quickly takes charge of the count. 0 and 2. He's up on St. Louis Park's pitcher Picard. Gorskowski lifts his leg, deals. Ground ball to shortstop. Reed Young ate it up. Still has a play at first, and he makes it. Reed Young sticks with it and Fires across to Bach at first base and retires Picard for the first out of the inning. Here's a shortstop Picard. He gets a piece of one into the left field corner. This is going to be extra bases. Peters fields it in left field. Picard's rounding first and reaches second base, standing up. A one-out double for the shortstop, Picard, and St. Louis Park threatening to score their first runs of the game here in the fourth inning. Designated hitter, Julian Shadle. Designated hitter, Julian Shadle. Now in the box for... The Orioles. Gorskowski comes set. Runner on second. One out. A big breaking ball is in there. 
for strike one. Park fans are displeased with the call. The 0-1 in the dirt. Swanson smothers it. One 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 out runner on second base. Two Shadel. Gorskowski sets fires. This one is in the shallow left. It goes deeper than it originally came off the bat. Tagging from first base or second base safely is the St. Louis Park base runner. So a two out fly ball advancing the base runner or a one out fly ball advancing the base runner it makes it two outs now. Jack Elias now here at the plate for St. Louis Park. Field looks relatively dry. The, mo the grass looks really good. It, they must have mowed it uh, here. It's Dale Welter who is the man on top of Athletic Park and then I know uh, Bill Franzen is a uh, big help down here. A check swing, we went around. Did he Elias? So a one one two outs, Gorskowski pitching. He set he winds up with a runner on third base. One one is left upstairs. Two one, two outs, runner on third. Goroskowski from the wind up. Shakes off his catcher a couple times. Now he agrees and he fires home. This one is left upstairs for ball three. Borderline on the black there. Goroskowski looking for a little help on where that one was. I know Chaska Boys Lacrosse opened up their home schedule here this evening. They were playing over at the high school. And ball four is called. I don't know where that pitch was. I couldn't tell you. Man, that one looked rather... More than rather, it looked really good. So now St. Louis Park with two down as a runner on first and third. And it's Ryan Brent. You know, runner on first base stays there. Strike one from Goroskowski. This one is hit left side, fielded by the third baseman Bohr, and he fires across the first base and retires the side. Couple of base runners, nothing pushed across the plate. In the fourth right, inning, we go to the fifth. We go to the bottom of the fourth, rather. Chaska coming to bat.
Here we go with the bottom of the fourth. Sophomore first baseman Justin Bach to lead it off for Chaska. Bach shows bunt, drag bunt. He pulls back on for ball one. Three hits apiece. Nobody committed an error yet. Chaska winning in the only column that matters and runs 2 nothing. Bach looks at a strike inside. One and one, the count now. A breaking ball finds its way into the zone for strike two. Time called by Bach with the one two count ahead of him. Shea Pekarik, the St. Louis Park pitcher. This one's grounded to the shortstop. Bach got a bad jump out of the box, and the throw beats him at first base. So the first out of the inning is a ground out to the shortstop, and Bach is retired. Here's Marcus Peters. One away, Marcus Peters, right-handed batter, steps in, the junior. He gets hit with one. The breaking ball didn't break enough, and Peters wears it right on the belt. And he'll take first base rather easily. Here's Trent Dawson, the center fielder. One away, runner on first base. Dawson swings at this one. It's through the first baseman. Peters is rounding second hard. He is going to advance to third base off the bobble baseball out there in right field. So now Chaska threatening here with one out in the bottom of the fourth. Reed Young steps to the plate with runners on first and third. The sun yet to fully set here. The, not a great look at the sunset here. The park has kind of faced the opposite direction. The sunrise here, I can let you know that I've been here before the sun rises, and when it does come up, it's a pretty good-looking sight out there in left field. Breaking ball is spit on by Young, and he looks at it for a ball. One away here. Nachaska shortstop left-handed batter at the plate for the Hawks. Dawson on first. He gets checked on. Nothing doing over there, though. Gets back safely. Marcus Peters moved his way around to third base after getting plunked right on the hip. The 1-0. Dawson takes off. It's upstairs. A bluff throw. And Dawson, rather ungracefully, slides into second base safely. So now... One down, runners on second and third for the Hawks. Young. A couple RBIs out there waiting to be knocked in. He looks at this one, almost take out his knees. So, Shea Picaric falling behind here. 3 0, runners on second and third with only one away. Young. Ball three and ball four. So, a base is loaded, one out now for Chaska and. Sam Hunt's going to go out and talk to his pitcher. Here comes Seth Hendrickson, the second baseman, out from the dugout, and he'll hit. Second baseman, Seth Hendrickson. Corners in. Infield's get, middle infield's going to be rolling it up. Hendrickson watches one almost hit his belt for ball one. No place to put him if Picard wants to 
Walk in here. 1-0. One, -oh, one away. Outfield straight up. Hendrickson pops one up. Foul. Behind third base. It is going to be fielded by the shortstop. It's fair. It stays fair. So Hendrickson fails to get anything with the bases loaded across. And now it's going to be the catcher, Riley Swenson's turn. Bases loaded, two down. Everybody playing straight up. Third baseman guarding the line. Swenson fouls one off into the seats, right side. Gets pinballed around in a tree a little bit. <laughs> that was kind of funny to watch. 0 1 to Riley Swenson. Ball one is low. Peters on third base. Dawson on second. And Reed Young stands on first base. The base runners for the Hawks. It's Picard on the hill for St. Louis Park. And Riley Swenson, his opponent, standing in the batter's box. One on one count. Two down. The pitch. Swung on. Ground ball. Short stop. Swenson going to try to beat it out at first base. But he can't do that. And St. Louis Park pitches out of a bases loaded one out jam. And we return. Score 2 nothing when we get to the top of the fifth. We move to the top of the fifth here from Athletic Park. I'm Ryan Paul. Right fielder, Zach Liske. Joining you live here on the Chaska Hawks Broadcast Network. St. Louis Park and Chaska Hawks lead 2 nothing Through four innings, Gorskowski, the dealer for the Hawks, throws the first pitch of the fifth in there. It's low for ball one. The 1-0, up and away, ball two. Fastball catches the up. Part of the strike zone. Makes it a 2-1 count. This check fouls one off. Moving the count to twos. With nobody out, Gorskowski sets, fires third base. Mac Bourne picks it up on an E, throws over to first base and retires him. 
A nice play by the freshman third baseman for Chaska Macborn to get the first out of the inning. Let me tell you something. Gorskowski really good at getting outs. He's, you know, not going to... He does have some overpowering stuff, but he's not. he doesn't collect too many strikeouts. He gets a lot of fly balls and ground ball outs, so it's good when you have seven guys behind you and one in front of you. That can help you out in that part of the game. Here's Sam Hunt, the catcher, with one out. Gorskowski lifts his left leg. He sets fire. He's fouled off hard down the third baseline. The 0-1 to Hunt. Swung on upstairs. Count moves to 2-0. Or 0-2, rather. Gorskowski. The 0-2 is hit hard out to center. It's Dawson out there for Chaska who collects it and makes the catch. Chaska center fielder Trent Dawson. Recording the second out of the inning. First baseman, Connor Cornell. Well, the first baseman, Connor Cornell, steps in. Gorskowski still going strong for Chaska. We'll see how much longer he stays out there. Pitch count limit, obviously a factor here in an MSHSL play this year. Foul ball to Christensen. 0-1. Ground ball left side to Bourne again. He sits on this one. He's got to make a strong throw across the first. And he retires Christensen in a firm throw from Bourne. One, two, three go the Orioles in the top of the fifth. We come back with the bottom of the frame. Hawks two. St. Louis Park nothing. Bottom of the fifth for Traska Gorskowski. Set to face off against his counterpart this evening. Pekarik on the hill for St. Louis Park. First pitch of the inning is grounded hard down the line. It's foul. Past the third baseman. So the first strike on Gorskowski. Outfield playing deep. Ball one in the dirt. Gorskowski gets into one. This one is deep to left field. Gorskowski, the left fielder, still chasing it off the wall. Dan Gorskowski works in a double into his night, his second one of the evening. This one hitting off the wall. It was about a foot and a half from going over it. 
and putting Chaska up 3-0. Instead, it's Goroskowski's second double of the night, and he helps himself out there with a two-bagger. Benji could all go a little courtesy run for him. Gorskowski, three for three in the evening. And this here is Chris Johnson, the DH, this evening. He steps in and looks at a good curveball. Go right by, ball one. Benji hit all go the courtesy runner, getting toyed with out there at second base. Ball two in the dirt. The 2-0. Johnson ahead of it. Count goes to 2-1. Strike two is in there. No. Oh, man. That's a good pitch there. I thought he had got him. For strike two, but instead the count goes to 3-1. Pekarik, the pitcher, not happy about that one. 3-1 to Johnson. He steps out of this one. The ball is floated into shallow right. Trouble, and it drops. So Johnson's going to reach on what will probably be scored a hit. So Bourne, it's going to be scored a hit. And Bourne's going to step in here with... Nobody down. Runners on first and second base. Third baseman, Matt Bourne. Couple of hard RBIs out there for the freshman. Nobody down here. In the bottom of the fifth. Johnson got away with a little bit of a bloop there. Bourne watches one go right by his face. Runners take out. No, Johnson takes off. The other runner didn't. Bourne grounds out to the shortstop. I don't know what Chris Johnson was doing. Johnson stole second base. Benji Hidalgo was in front of him and not stealing. First baseman, Dustin Bach. So here comes Bach to the plate now, the first baseman. Man, that could have gone real badly if that ball wasn't put in play. A single gets Bach presumably two RBIs here. And moves the game a little bit further out of the reach of St. Louis Park. Still only a 4 nothing game, assuming Bach or somebody can get these two runs in for Chaska. Ball one is inside. A breaking ball that didn't please the umpire enough. one out count to Bach, the first baseman. The car accepts. Fires home. There's strike one. One ball, one strike, one out. Here in the bottom of this fifth inning. The 1-1. One, one. Bach fouls it out of play right on top of us. One two to the first baseman, number one Justin Bach, sophomore, hockey player and football player. The one two in the dirt doesn't trickle by enough. Hidalgo can't do anything on third base. Man, he almost got stuck. He took off like that ball was going to reach the backstop, but it didn't go quite far enough for him to advance to the plate. So Bach sits at a two two count here with runners on second and third. One away, Pekarik sets, fires home, and here's a breaking ball, ring up Justin Bach. Snuck its way in there for strike three. So now Chaskis at two outs, and Marcus Peters steps to play.
Strike one to Peters. Couple of runs out there, Chaska would like to have. Peters almost wears the second one. One one count to the junior. Good fastball in there for strike two. Benji Hidalgo almost got caught sleeping down there at third base. One, two, two outs. St. Louis Parks pitcher Picard suddenly taking control. Peters fouls one off. Staying alive. Another 1-2 ahead for Peters. Picard from the windup. Runners on second and third. Two down. Bottom of the fifth. The 1-2 in the dirt. Smothered by the catcher Hunt. Two 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 down to Peters for Chaska. Picard sets from the wind up. The Watches ball three go by. It looked like a good breaking ball that might have found its way in there, but instead is ball three. Full count, two down. Peters hits one in the left. This ball is going back, but it's going to be catchable for the left fielder and unmercifully grabs it to retire the side. So Chaska, for the second inning in a row, can't get anything out with runners in scoring position. We go to the sixth inning, 2 nothing Hawks lead. We go to the 6th from Athletic Park here, Thursday Night Baseball on the Chaska Hawks Broadcast Network. Jacob Gorskowski still dealing for Chaska here this inning. Chaska still a 2-0 lead. Struggled to get runners in with runners in scoring position this evening. Sorensen scores the bunt, making Chaska think about it a little bit. Pitches a ball. Here's a hard hit ball up the middle. Hendrickson can't get it, and it's a hit for St. Louis Park, their fourth of the ball game, and the fourth conceded by Goreskowski. So some life for the Orioles here in the top of the sixth inning. Shea Pekarik needs to help himself out here. With the runner on first base, nobody down. Sorensen gets a good lead out there at first base. Strike one to the park pitcher. One strike to Goroskowski's counterpart. Hit hard to right field, deep. 
Miller's going back, and he catches it out there in right field. Sorensen required to retreat to first base, so a critical first out of the inning from Goroskowski there, a fly ball to deep right field. The shortstop, Dvorak, steps in here for the Orioles. With one away, runner on first base, Goroskowski limiting to his wishes, limiting Park to anything. If he can keep him scoreless, that'd be huge for Chaska. Then having that 2 nothing lead, if they can take a lead into the sixth, bottom of the sixth, and then hopefully don't even have to play a seventh inning. Yeah, my words jumbled up there a little bit. First pitch is a strike. A ball hit out to straightaway center field. Dawson traces over to it. Another deep fly ball out for St. Louis Park. And Goroskowski suddenly goes from a little bit of a jam to now ahead with two outs. Julian Shadle. Steps in here. Ball one in the dirt. Ball two upstairs. Yeah, moving wrong along rather quickly. See, it's only 8.21 local time. Sorensen blows a steal at first base and strike one. Two one count. Two down. Shittle at the plate. He swings and one above his eyes. So Gorskowski in the driver's seat now. Two balls, two strikes, two down. Runner on first base. Here in the top of the sixth inning. The 2-2 with two away. Gorskowski sets, lifts his leg, fires. It's upstairs. Ball three, full count, two down. Runner will go. Bach steps off behind him at first base. Full count. Two down. Goroskowski lifts his leg. Fires home. And it's a ground ball. L left side. Bourne fields it. Throws over to first base. And Goroskowski pitches out of the inning. We go to the bottom of the six. No damage done there. Traska still leads. 2 nothing here on Thursday Night Baseball. Trent Dawson is going to step in here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Chasco hoping he'll be there final time at the plate this evening. Dawson hits one hard over the right fielder's head. This is going to be extra bases. Dawson, the speedy routing first base. He's headed to third. Dawson, the relay coming in, and he's in. With an easy triple, Trent Dawson, a leadoff first pitch triple for Chaska in the sixth inning.
pitching change, assuming that's what we're going to get here for St. Louis Park. And if so, it's going to be Shea Pekarik who exits. And that is the case. We take a break here. Trent Doss on a leadoff triple and a pitching change in the bottom of the sixth inning. 2 nothing. Chaska leads. to give a quick shout out to Opa D who's watching from the Chicago, Illinois area this evening. Grandma Ellie is also out there with him. Hope she's doing well. Thanks for watching everybody. Hope you're enjoying this Thursday Night Baseball coverage here. If you've watched us in the basketball season, hope you're enjoying our coverage now in the baseball. As I've said, nothing too extreme here in the baseball uh, area. I mean, in basketball, I did every single Chaska game this year. And uh, baseball will definitely not be that, but um, still looking to have some fun with it as this Chaska baseball crew is sure a fun one to be around, and Athletic Park is nothing shy of amazing. Now pitching number 20, Riley Dvork. Riley Dvork, the shortstop, now on the hill for St. Louis Park. Infield's in with nobody out. Reed Young at the plate. Inside fastball. Dawson's coming home and the first pitch that Dvorak throws is a it's going to be scored as a pass ball. It was a pitch that was the catcher set up outside. This one ran up right on Young's belt. So it's ball one but more importantly a run scores and Chaska goes up 3 nothing. To the leadoff triple from Dawson. Proving effective here in the bottom of the six. Now Young looks at a fastball high. Dvorak, the shortstop, has some mustard on that fastball of his. Approach 6.30 or 8.30 local time here. Curveball is in there for a strike. Man, the delayed strike call here is really something. 2-1 to the shortstop Young. Dvorak steps off. Young looks at one inside. It He thinks it hit him. Said the count moves 3-1. Three one to Young outside ball four. Take your base. So Young draws a walk. He's got hit by a pitch earlier, and here he draws another one. Hendricks in it at the plate now. Hawks seven hits. Orioles four. Chaska leading. 3 nothing in the runs column. Hendrickson taps one foul over the first base dugout. Little check swing. Ball just caught a piece of the bat. Long sequence of signs given here by third base coach and head coach for Chaska, Craig Bauman. The 0-1 to Hendrickson. Young on first base. Chaska up 3 nothing. Hendrickson squares the bunt. He can't lay it down in fair territory, and it's tap back foul in an 0-2 count. No bunt coming here from Hendrickson. A 
unless maybe he does. I don't know, O2 bunt, a little less than common, especially in high school baseball. Maybe Young will take off. Throw over by Dvorak. Tries to eliminate that possibility. Good showing here from the Traska fans. The students making another good look at themselves in the front and second and now in the third rows. Boys lacrosse also had their opener this evening at home, so uh, I'm sure a good amount of people are over there. 0-2 to Hendrickson back on the field, though. Reed Young getting a good lead over there. He's leaning a little bit, and he's going to bluff a steal and strike three. Hendrickson, a delayed steal. And they got him at second base. Wow. Hendrickson looked at strike three, and then Reed Young got a delayed steal. But And I don't know if the catcher, Sam Hunt, tried to throw that ball down to second base or if he tried to throw it back to his pitcher, and the pitcher just let it go. Man. That was a strange play. But nevertheless, Chaska, a strikeout or a strikeout and a throwout for St. Louis Park, and now quickly Chaska to their final out in this inning. Justin Bach just came back from warming up in the bullpen, so maybe we'll see him trying to close this one out, or maybe he'll let Gorskowski go the distance. We'll see. Swenson steps in, looks at strike one in the far outside corner. Here's Swen oh, one to Swenson. Ball one upstairs. One one count to the Chaska catcher. Zork sets fires. Breaking ball. Ball two. Just a little too low. Two one count to the Riley Swenson. Swenson needs a minute. Still two one here on a cold, windy night. A little rain earlier in the ball game. Nothing left of it. Swenson hits a breaking ball deep into right center. This one is still going. Swenson hits one of the warning track. He's rounding second base, and he'll be held up right there. So a two-out double from Riley Swenson keeps Chaska alive here in the bottom of the sixth inning. And we're going to see a courtesy runner. It's Logan Van Sant who trots out to second base to run for the catcher. Next is pitcher, Jacob Gorskowski. So Gorskowski is going to get put on and intentionally walked. So And he'll run for himself, I think. No, we won't. Benji Hidalgo is going to courtesy run. So Hidalgo is going to take Gorskowski stats at spot at first base. So Hidalgo on first base, courtesy running for the pitcher. And <laughs> Logan Van Sant, courtesy running on second base for the catcher. Two down, the DH, Chris Johnson steps in. He looks, had a curveball go in there for, it was just a bit outside, I think, for ball one. One other Johnson. It's up the middle. It's a base hit. This could score the Van Zandt. The throw from center is cut off, and Van Zandt scores, but... Hidalgo's caught in a rundown, and he'll just be tagged out. Run scores for Chaska. So move it to a 4-1 game, or 4-0 game. But Hidalgo is tagged out. At, it's between second and third, and we go to the...
top of the seventh in St. Louis Park's last chance in this ballgame here on Thursday Night Baseball. Goroskowski is going to go out for the attempt to close out his win and make it a complete game. And here we go in the top of the seventh. Top of the seventh for St. Louis Park. Second baseman, Jack Elias. Jack Elias approaches the plate now here. He taps one foul. Whoa, one count. Goroskowski needs three outs to win this ball game. Ball two, or ball one rather. Jeez. One, one count now. Hard hit foul ball down the left side. Goroskowski goes up in the count one two. See what Goroskowski likes to go with here. He's got Elias on his toes. He steps out and needs a second and steps quickly back in. Goroskowski up one, two. He fires, and it is a breaking ball waiting for the call. Nothing. Two, two. That delayed strike has been called quite a bit this evening, and there's a strikeout Goroskowski wanted, and he fans Elias. For the first out of the inning. Brent Ryan, the outfielder, steps up to the plate here, hoping to spark St. Louis Park here in the top of the seventh. Last chance for the Orioles. Gorskowski up 1-0, or 0-1, gets strike two in there. Park needs to start being aggressive if they want to uh, even have a chance at knocking in a run. Or the, even the needed four. 0-2, oh Goroskowski lifts his left leg, fires home, and it is strike three. Fastball got him. Brent Ryan goes down looking on three pitches, and Goroskowski's one out away from a win. Right Zach Listiak steps in. Watch his ball one go by. One oh to Listiak. Strike one on the outside corner. One one. Rich St. Louis Park down to their final two strikes. This one is hit right back up the middle of Goroskowski and it's a base hit. Man. Goroskowski had to get out of the way of that one. So they said from Listiak, and they want a courtesy runner. Or it's going to be a pinch runner. 
Luke Peterson's going to come in and pinch run for the Orioles. Pinch runner is number five, Luke Peterson. Here comes the catcher, Sam Hunt. Up to the plate here for his chance with it for a two out spark. Hard hit ball left side. Mac Bourne fields it on a knee and fires over. It's an errant throw. So Hunt is going to reach second base safely on a E5. And Goroskowski's not. Going to get his win there. So the first air of the ball game. And Connor Cornell now steps up trying to do something here with runners on second and third. It's still two away. Gorskowski left leg lifts and it's in there. Oof. Just a bit too low, ball one. One oh. Fouled right back here. One one. Gorskowski from the windup, the one one. Ground ball to Hendrickson. Second baseman, he sits on it, throws over to first, and Goroskowski comes away with a win. It's a 4-0 Hawk win, and they come away with the victory here at Athletic Park against St. Louis Park. Another conference victory for Chaska. Goroskowski gets the complete game win, and Chaska comes away with the win against St. Louis Park. Thanks for tuning in. Thursday Night Baseball here. I'm Ryan Paul. From Athletic Park, signing off. Hawks win 4-0 against St. Louis Park. Join us next time for some Hawks Athletics.